Let me tell you the freedom you have. This is what happens around the world. In Southeast Asia, 12-year-old, 13-year-olds are recorded. When they even say the name Jesus, they'll take out boiling water, 212 degrees. You say, why 212 degrees? Because it's at a boiling point. They will take it out and they'll pour it down their throat, burning out their larynx, so they'll never say the name Jesus again. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus! In underground China, I'm reminded of a missionary that went... As they were there worshiping, I just got to tell you, I love telling people this story because it's so true. In a minute, we're going to get to worship Christ, but I got to tell you this. The soldier, these soldiers rush into this room. They cock their guns. They aim it at all the, the people that are there worshiping. And, and the lead general walks in, and I've told this before, but I'll tell it again. And he says, if you were to stay here and stand for Christ, then you shall surely die. But if you want to leave, Go. And go now. You can only imagine what happened. Man, people started getting up and people started running out and people were freaked out and people were scared to death. But there were a few teenagers. There were a few people, a few moms that stayed behind as they held hands. Yes, yes, yes. As they held hands. The lead general came out as everybody took off running and he looked at all the people who were staying around. The mom was crying and she was holding her baby's hand and she was telling him it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. We're about to see Jesus. And right before they were about to be killed, the lead general stepped up. He removed his helmet. He took off his gun. And he said, now we can worship him. We just wanted to see who would stand with every eye open and everybody looking around. When I count to two, if you do not know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, don't dare close your eyes. Let everybody see it. When I say two, put your hand up. You ready? One. Get ready. If you need to rededicate, get your life right. Here's your chance. Two. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. Don't be ashamed. Keep them up. There it is. There it is. Oh, watch this. There are about to be people joining you. Watch. There's lots of us, but watch. Ready? When we say this prayer, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Every one of us. Are you ready? Say, Jesus. I ask you to come into my life. Say, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Say, teach me and guide me to walk in the ways of you, Jesus. And everybody said, And everybody said, And everybody said, Wow. 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 You ready in this house? With no man, nobody look at. We're going to worship God. Because the Bible says in Luke 15, 7, that all of heaven rejoices when one comes to his name. And today we have seen hundreds, if not thousands, come to his name. I'm ready to tell God he is an awesome God. I want to tell him that you are worthy. You ready? Here we go. We get to worship for free. We get to worship Jesus Christ because he's awesome. Somebody listen up. Yeah. <laughs> 
supposed to end and I'm going to end right here and I'm going to do something that we probably weren't supposed to do but DJ I just want you to follow me I just since we're out in Coleman and we're in like a big field I feel like we're in the Woodstock for Jesus somebody say yeah, yeah. and if people can shout and jump at a football game why can't we jump when somebody's been set free by the blood of Jesus I've been free in this house Jesus! Jesus! 